This week on John Thielen's Destination Fish, we get after midwinter perch and talk about tactics to catch them anywhere you go. Then we shift gears and set out in chase of primetime bluegills. Some of the best bluegill fishing occurs when most anglers are packing up. Today, will those anglers head for shore? We're just getting started. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle, Striker, and L&M Fleet Supply. on that quiver spoon. There he is, got him. That fish just sauntered in along the bottom. I just watched him coming through. And he came for a long ways. And you know, that's the thing about perch, big perch. As you see them coming, you can usually get their attention. And, and the reason is, big perch, oh yeah, big one. Look at that one. Let's drag him right out of the hole there. I'm gonna show you something. This is really cool what I'm gonna show you because this is gonna explain to you a little bit about what I'm doing. Today, we're just gonna talk about perch fishing and that's a dynamite perch anywhere you go. I suppose he's, you know, in that 13 inch class, he's a nice fish. But ultimately, what I'm gonna tell you about perch is perch, when they get to this size, they're predators. You know, they spend so much of their life running for their lives when they're small fish. But then when they get like this, this is a predator fish and they change and they become so much more aggressive and they begin to eat and become one of those top of the food chain fish that eats whenever he wants. And this fish here, I mean, I just watched him swimming in. The little fish that were down there scattered and this guy came up and whacked it. That's dynamite perch anywhere you go. It's midwinter and the fish have moved from their early season haunts near weeds to open water and deeper structures. Mid-Lake humps are today's target in 27 to 30 feet of water. Today's weather is mild with temps in the mid 20s and overcast skies with light south winds. Big baits are the key. 1 8 ounce rattling flyer spoons and 1 16 ounce quiver spoons tipped with waxworms are putting today's big perch topside. He is right there. Got him. <laughs> Feels like another pretty good one. So let's talk about baits I'm using. When I'm thinking big perch, I'm thinking big baits. And these fish, oh yeah, big perch. Look at this one. Ooh, look at that one. That fish, that's a giant perch came up and ate that bait and that's a rattling flyer spoon that's an eighth ounce rattling flyer spoon let's face it when i'm fishing a rattling flyer spoon i'm thinking walleyes but not today today i'm chasing big perch and when i'm chasing big perch i never have a problem using baits i would normally think of like that rattling flyer spoon for walleye because big perch they're predators and they'll eat big baits look at that fish that is a beautiful perch. I don't care where you're fishing. That's an awesome fish right there. But here's what I'll tell you. Baits like this right here. This is a little bit smaller spoon. This is a 16 ounce quiver spoon. This is one of the new colors. Here's what's great about the quiver spoon. It's gonna give you a little bit different action. When I jig this up, it's then gonna flutter back down. So when I'm fishing two lines and I'm thinking spoons, I'm thinking big perch, I'm always gonna choose two different spoon actions. Okay, so this quiver spoon is a slower drop and it's more of a fluttering action. It's gonna give off that little bit of flash from the back of the lure where it's plated gold or plated chrome. And then it's also gonna give off the color on the, on the front of it. But then over here, I'm using an eighth ounce rattling flyer spoon, but what this is is a much more vertical spoon and it's got a rattle in it. So when I jig this one up, it pretty much turns, has a little bit of flutter, but not a lot. It's a much more heavyweight spoon, but it's giving them a totally different action. And that's what you wanna do. You wanna offer these fish two different actions when they come in, because as soon as I see fish, a lot of times I'll grab both rods and start jigging them. And that way they're seeing two different actions. They're looking back and forth, trying to decide which one they want, but I got a better chance at triggering a strike by having those two different spoons down there than I would if I had two of the same thing and they were doing the same things. L&M Fleet Supply is your Northland Ice Fishing Headquarters. I'm here with Jackson Shower to hear about this week's hot deals. We do have some great deals this week, John. 
This week, LM 4 Rod Soft Bag, regularly $24.99, on sale at the low price of $16.99, or take home an FL8 Gens Pack that is regularly $299.99 for only $269.99. Check out this week's LM New Year's Sale Flyer for more great sale pricing in store or online at lmsupply.com. Alumalite fish houses are the most durable, lightweight fish houses on the market today. Constructed from high-grade aluminum with spray foam interiors, Alumalite houses are easy to tow with a four-wheeler, snowmobile, or side-by-side. -side. Alumalite offers various sizes of houses along with custom build options. Alumalite fish houses are efficient and affordable, making them the most comfortable hard house option for reeling in fish all winter long. To find a complete listing of sizes, options, and your nearest dealer, visit Soderbloom.com. At Bemidji Sports Center, we have everything you need to get serious about fun. As one of the Midwest's largest power sports dealers, we offer sales, service, and parts for industry-leading brands, including ski and Polaris snowmobiles, as well as Can-Am and Polaris off-road products. We also stock Triton utility trailers and a huge selection of Alumalite fish houses. Stop in to see our extensive inventory at our convenient Highway 71 location in Bemidji, Minnesota, or check us out online at BemidjiSportsCenter.com. Command the cold this season with the Heat Hog Portable Propane Heater. Available in three sizes, making it perfect for any hunting blind or fish house. This is the only product available that tilts so you can warm your core and not just your feet. The curved plaque provides a wider heating area, and the tank heating dock keeps propane cylinders warm, delivering twice the runtime per cylinder. Keep your hunting blind warm all fall and your fish house warm all winter with the Heat Hog, designed in Minnesota by people who know cold. is on the dead stick. Got him. Oh yeah. It's another good one. You know these fish, they'll just travel in packs, these big perch. And when you get into one, you gotta be ready because there's most likely more of them here. Get that transducer out of there, it's a good fish. Come here, buddy. I saw him whiz by there once. Oh yeah, good perch. Look at that. Great fish for the dinner table tonight. Look at that. Awesome fish. Hey, I want to show you a really cool product. This right here is the Cold Snap Toothpick. And you can see what's really cool about this one is it's got the lanyard system. So I can clip it right to my bibs. And then it's got a nice long string on it and it's retractable. So it'll go in and out really easy. Here's the other thing about it. Watch this. Watch how easy that toothpick pops that hook out. I've just learned over the years that if I can, especially with ice fishing, when we're hooking them in the front end of their jaw, that bony part of their part of their mouth, it's way easier to just use this toothpick. There's a couple of them there. Let's see if another one will hit this quiver. Let's see what happens here. Well, there he is. He's on the quiver spoon. Got him. This feels like a horse. This fish is digging. Let's see if I can keep him hooked up here. Feels like a really good fish. A couple things I'll tell you are, when you're gonna fish walleye lures, for the most part, small spoons, like what I'm fishing for, oh yeah, it's a giant. Look at this big fish. When you're gonna fish like this though, you need to not only fish this way with those spoons, but you've got to fish this way as well. Look at that fish. That's a giant. <laughs> that thing is awesome. But you got to fish the same with the rod and reel combination you choose. I fish this rod a lot. It's one of my favorites from Tuned Up. This is a fusion. And what's great about the fusion is this can double as a panfish rod with spoons, okay, just like I'm doing today, or what you can also do with it is fish, you know, bobbers for walleyes. It's a great dead stick rod for walleyes. But when you're fishing for perch and you're fishing a spoon, you need to be able to make that spoon move. You don't want to fish something too soft. So ultimately this fusion's a great rod for fishing small spoons for 
your perch, your panfish, whatever it may be. Look at that. That fish is a giant. <laughs> it's just cool stuff. Oh, he's on the right on flyer spoon. Just look like a little bit better fish. Now he's going to look at the quiver spoon. There he is on the quiver. Got him. Look at that. That just goes to show you why a dead stick is so important. This fish looked at everything I had down there. He went up and down, took a look at everything I had. Oh, he's gonna be in that other line I can see from where he came. Look at that, good fish. Great perch, awesome perch. Great way to wrap up a day, morning actually. I mean, it's been a fast morning. These fish a bit fast. Tell you what. Get out, try some of these areas a little further away from structure. Find those areas where you're gonna get those larva hatches and fish big, fish spoons, fish a couple different types of spoons. And here's what you're gonna find out. You're gonna be able to catch fish that you might've overlooked or they've just grown up and been overlooked by a lot of people because people are so busy sometimes thinking with perch that you gotta fish really small. Fish like their walleyes. Get fish like that one right there. That's a great fish every day of the week, man. That's awesome. Man, that was some great perch fishing. Hey, before we head for our next location, I wanna take just a minute and tell you a little bit about the Striker Predator suit that you see me wearing today. The Striker Predator suit is designed for the angler who roams the open ice in search of the next bite, but never lets the cold sink in. The Predator boasts 150 grams of sure float flotation, giving the hardcore ice angler peace of mind throughout the entire season, while keeping you warm in the harshest conditions with 100 grams of Thermodex insulation. Magnetic storm flap closures keep the wind out while the cross-flow ventilation system prevents sweat by circulating air to better balance core body temps. Pair up the Predator jacket with the Predator or Predator light bibs and you have the durability to go anywhere and fish all day. To learn more about the Striker Predator suit that you see me wearing today, you can visit your favorite retailer or check them out online at strikerbrands.com. Stay right where you're at. We'll be right back with more John Thielen's Destination Fish. Since 2002, Cold Snap Outdoors has been creating innovative products that make ice fishing more enjoyable. Snap-on auger covers protect your auger blades while providing an easy and fast snap-on and off system. Simply use your toe to hold the cover and pop the auger out. The toothpick is the easiest hook removal system for panfish and walleye alike. Slide the notch down the hook and turn. Hooks are removed with no damage to expensive tungsten jigs or larger jigging spoons. To learn more about the entire Cold Snap lineup, visit your local retailer or coldsnapoutdoors.com. Lake of the Woods is the premier ice fishery in the Midwest, and Zippel Bay Resort on the South Shore is the place to experience all it has to offer. Zippel Bay offers plowed road access, day and sleeper fish house rentals, deluxe log cabins, and a great food menu in the lodge. The world-famous On Ice Igloo Bar offers fun for everyone, serving food and drinks in a setting like no other. Wheelhouses are welcome, and the fishing is great throughout the extended Lake of the Woods ice season. Plan your next ice fishing trip to Zippel Bay Resort. Hi, this is Greg from Outdoors Again in Bedette, Minnesota. I'd like to personally invite you to stop in and visit us here at Outdoors Again, where we carry the largest selection of fishing tackle, bait, firearms, and ammo in northern Minnesota. We are the home of the Jig Buffet. We are conveniently located on Highway 11 in downtown Bedette with plenty of parking to accommodate boats, wheelhouses, and trailers. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor needs, including bait, tackle, firearms, ammo, and much, much more. We look forward to seeing you here at Outdoors Again. The Jaws of Ice Auger Carrier is made for the angler who goes further to catch fish. Designed to easily mount on snowmobiles, side-by-sides, and four-wheelers, the Jaws of Ice is compatible with nearly every ice auger on the market today. Its simple locking jaw design provides a solid and safe ride across the ice. Upon arrival, the easy release system allows you to get right to work drilling holes and finding fish. The Jaws of Ice is the last auger carrier you will ever need. For more information, visit JawsOfIce.net. 
ice fishing electronics are getting bigger and better all the time. And along with that, they're pulling more power than ever. Amped Outdoors is the leader in lithium power technology, providing the highest capacity per size in the industry. Amped Outdoor lithium batteries are available in a variety of sizes to fit your power needs. And their batteries are built with the ice fishermen in mind. Amped Outdoors is based right in the heart of the ice belt in Hudson, Wisconsin, and they provide world-class customer support. Change the way you outdoors with Amped Outdoors lithium batteries. Next up, we chase down a midwinter primetime bluegill bite. While most anglers are packing up for the day, we're just drilling our holes. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle, Striker, and L&M Fleet Supply. Been a bluegill fishing today. Midwinter, maybe the toughest time of the year. We've actually got a warm front. Bunch of them there. Look at this. There, got him on this one. I think we might have one over there too. Here we go. Yup. <laughs> Let the evening begin. This is what we're gonna chase this evening. Primetime bluegills. And I'll tell you what, this right here is one of my favorite deals. Look at that, doubled. Let's see here. We're gonna just set that fish right there. They're starting in, and this is the way it works. All of a sudden, it's just gonna fire off. And that's the way prime time works. Look at that. Two great gills to start the night. That's a double. <laughs> it's that time that you look at and you say, man, I know it's gonna happen, and I know it's gonna happen soon. That's a great gill no matter where you go. Let's get this guy back in the water. Look at that. Perfect fish. And then let's get this one out of the bucket because we're just gonna let him go tonight. And let's get this one back in the water. Look at that, brothers. Same identical size fish. Perfect fish, exactly what we're chasing. But we're gonna talk about those tips and tricks that are gonna help you catch more of these fish, especially these primetime fish. Because I'll tell you what, this right here is some of the funnest fishing you can do. And if you can get back down there quick, a lot of times you can keep those fish around and they won't get away on you. Here he comes. There he is, got him. Watched him coming. I just glanced over at the Mega Live unit and I saw that fish dart up out of there. Look at that, another good one. Look at that. <laughs> exactly what we're here to do. What I'm gonna do, that's another good gill, we'll get him back out of here. And we still got a little bit of bait there. Let me get this one baited back up. But one of the things that I like to do is fish two different styles of rods, and I'll explain to you why. I'm gonna fish this tuned up precision noodle rod. It's got the softest tip of any of the tuned up custom rods within the family. That's my dead stick. Then over here, the handheld rod, that's my bull whip. And this tuned up custom bull whip, this, this rod is perfect for working a tungsten jig and working it real slow. It's mid-January. This afternoon we are fishing off the edge of a shoreline point in 18 feet of water. Weather conditions are stable with temps warming through the mid-20s and a 10 mile per hour south wind bringing that warm air north. The lure of choice today is a number 12 Lindy Tungsten Toad in bright colors. Chartreuse orange and chartreuse lime tipped with waxworms are doing the trick. There he is, got him. Let's talk a little bit about timing because ultimately, that's a good one. Look at that one. That's awesome. First thing, it's midwinter right now. We're fishing that time period where things can get a little bit tough. So one of the things I'll tell you that I always do is I really try to focus on those prime times. That time of the day when I know these fish are gonna be the most active. So an hour before sunset, right through you know an hour maybe two hours after sunset but location matters don't be afraid especially in midwinter to fish deeper for these fish because what will happen is they'll just come through in waves there's another one and that's what's going on we got a little wave earlier three of them came roaring through and there were more than three three is what i got look at this one that's a giant and what's happening now is the second wave is pouring through and what we're doing now is just picking off that second wave. Now you can say, well, why aren't you starting up even shallower? 
because once they get there, they've already fed all the way up, just like they're doing right now. If you spent more time after dark up there, you're gonna catch more fish. But right now, because of the setup that I'm in, it's still daylight outside and these fish are just on the move. I'm able to pick them off on their way up. What an awesome fish. That's just, that's just fun. I don't care what anybody says. You put a fish like this on an ultralight and that is a ball. We are l &M. We are a third generation family owned business that has proudly served the Northland for over 60 years. We carry products that cater to the communities surrounding our stores. We service what we sell and we can equip you with everything you need for your next outdoor adventure. We are family. We are l &M Fleet Supply. Get on the ice earlier and stay later with the all-new Alumalite Odyssey Wheelhouse. The Odyssey is constructed with a full aluminum frame and a proven spray foam interior, making it extremely lightweight and easy to tow. The Odyssey features a durable black coin rubber floor and is available in various sizes and layouts. 110 volt wiring and thermal pane windows provide all the power and light you'll need to spend the day or the entire weekend on the ice. For more information, visit your favorite retailer or solderbloom.com. Keep your fishing and hunting gear secure and dry as you travel across the ice to hot spots or along the gravel roads to your favorite hunting grounds. The Nomad UTV Topper is constructed from lightweight, high-grade aluminum with lids that include lockable latches and gas shocks. Full-size and low-profile configurations are available for the Polaris Ranger and the Can-Am Defender. Nomad UTV Toppers are made to fit any adventure. For more information, check them out at your favorite dealer or online at nomadmn.com. got him. I knew I was going to get that fish on one of these setups. Just the way he was coming up, you could tell he was a good gill too. He came in on the live unit. I saw him coming from a little ways away and then just looked over and there he was. Look at that one. Man, that is awesome. <laughs> what a beautiful gill. Holy smokes. Man, the quality of these fish has just been awesome too. I mean, there's a lot of great eaters. There's some bigger fish mixed in. I mean, this is this is something else. Really cool tool, toothpick. It so, makes it so easy to get in there on that light little light wire hook, pop it out just like that, and not bend a hook. That right there, another great deal. Get out of here, buddy. I have one other trick I want to show you because I think it makes a big difference. When I'm baiting this tungsten toad up, when I'm fishing waxworms especially, waxworms are a very soft worm. Ultimately, a bluegill, especially your smaller ones, can tear these off so easily. So I always put two on there. What two of them does for me is number one, because they're hanging a little bit separately, what ends up happening is they're dancing a little bit different down there. They start looking like a little bit bigger bait. And we're still within the spectrum of what a bluegill is willing to eat, but we're on the bigger side. And if I'm on the bigger side, I tend to believe the bigger fish are the ones I'm going to get to bite. That fish looked back and forth between the two rods. I finally just picked the noodle rod up 
and came up and kept him coming up because I realized he just wasn't reacting to my jig stick up high. So what I did is I just picked up that noodle rod and I just moved this jig up a little bit and kept him coming. That fish bit one of these brand new colors. I'm gonna show you what I'm using here. But man, that's another great fish. Any fish that fills your palm, that's just awesome. Let me show you what we're using. Really simple deal. This is a Lindy Tungsten Toad. Bunch of new colors this year and that one so happened to be on one of those new colors. But here's what's really cool about this jig. It's got a little bit of an offset in the hook. So when I jig this jig, it's just dancing up and down just a little bit. It's got a little bit of this, this movement like that. And that's a big thing because what that's doing is making it so that that little wax worm on the back is dancing down there as well. Comes in a whole variety of colors. And then with the new ones this year, I mean, there, there's a bunch. And then on top of that, you can get it in three different sizes, a size 14, a size 12, and a size 10. I'm choosing to fish the 12 because most of these bluegills are on the bigger side. We're not gonna run into a whole lot of little bluegills here. There he is, got him. <laughs> Man, it's, it's ironic how all of a sudden it'll just happen and it's just gonna go. And, and you know, you get a little lull and then all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of them back in here and there's a bunch of them on the screen right now. Look at that gilly. Hey, let me tell you something. You're used to seeing me fishing most of the time in a portable, wearing my striker suit. And today though, chose to do it a little bit different. Today we chose to, to get out in the, in the Illumilite and do it in a little bit more comfort. Before we go this evening, I wanna tell you just a little bit more about these Illumilites because if you own a cabin or if you live on a lake, I'll tell you, these things are definitely the way to go. Because it is comfortable. Alumalite ice houses are the leader in lightweight aluminum skid houses. Alumalite houses are durable, built with an all aluminum frame and a spray foam interior coating which provides maximum efficiency, keeping the cold out and the heat in. They are lightweight, meaning they can be easily moved with a side-by-side -side four wheeler or snowmobile. Alumalite fish houses are available in standard sizes ranging from five by seven to eight by 12 with custom sizes and options available. Alumalite ice houses are available at dealers across the Midwest. To learn more about Alumalite fish houses, visit solderbloom.com. Well, that'll tell you a little bit about why I chose to put an Alumalite up here at my cabin. Hey, be sure to check back next week. We're gonna have another great episode of John Thielen's Destination Fish. Closed captioning has been brought to you by L&M Fleet Supply.